least glamorous YouTube video ever, but my legs are gonna grow. Hello, hello, good morning everyone. We are gonna be doing today an absolutely killer leg session. I say good morning, it's actually about 4 p.m. I train about six, seven-ish, so we're gonna get some food in in a minute, but today I have spent five hours uh, hiking around the hills around where I live, so my legs were already pretty tired. Um, we're gonna do a killer leg day on top of that, try and get a huge leg pump, absolutely smash our legs into oblivion, which should be really good fun. I don't know if you can see, we got a nice flag there uh, for the gym to spice up the wall. We got another one coming for this space here, which should make the gym look really nice. Just gotta wait for the uh, creases to come out of that. But yeah, today's leg session is gonna be absolutely brutal. And yeah, this is my secret for what I do to get nice big legs. So before jumping into the workout, of course, this workout I'm gonna be fueled by Myoband Oblivion like I am every single workout. Really easy way to get some intra-workout protein and nutrients in. So if you want that, link in the description, use code TobyLifely1 for 10% off. And of course, if you want to contact me or watch daily training footage behind the scenes of videos and stuff, link to the Instagram and my Twitter in the description below. Instagram is the best place to go for daily training footage and all that sort of thing, and probably the best place to contact me as well. So before we jump in, just gonna say thanks for the support on the channel. You guys are doing big bits. So if you're liking the videos, please leave a like down below and I hope you enjoy this workout. So today we have some great things in store. We're gonna start the workout off with some heavy squats going for three sets of three. Uh, for me at about 140 kilos, uh, my squat PR is 170. But yeah, try and get 140 for three by three. Uh, some nice depth, some good uh, form on that, nice and tight blast the knees straight off, and then we're gonna move into a goblet squat superset, where we do three, set, uh, three sets of 12 reps, where we do 12 uh, super narrow stance, like cannonball squat stance, and 12 almost sumo stance squats straight afterwards. So 24 reps in total with a 26 and a half kilo dumbbell. That one completely ruins your legs, and the uh, targets a lot of the adductors uh, and glutes, surprisingly. So it's a really nice one for that. And then we're gonna move on uh, with four sets of six per leg weighted lunges uh, with some 13 kilo dumbbells in each hand. I hate weighted lunges, but lunges are honestly the best way to get leg growth. Like they work, they just feel horrible. So that's what we're gonna do. And then when our legs are completely blitzed, we're gonna end with three sets of 10 box squats. So onto a bench. Uh, with only 80 kg, but we're going to do them super explosive and get uh, the short twitch muscle fibers um, absolutely firing with that explosive movement. Uh, and obviously that helps getting out the bottom of a squat. And then we're just going to do some calf raises and then end with a bit of conditioning, which is three times one minute bike sprints. So a high resistance on the bike, absolutely blast. It goes hard as you can for a minute then rest and then do it for another minute and do it obviously three times, that's what three sets is. And by the end of that, your legs should be absolutely dead, absolutely roasted and with a nice big pump. So we're gonna jump into that. I'm gonna get squatting. You guys are gonna see a montage and I will chat to you after we squat.
There we go. I've just about recovered enough from squats to be able to talk to you without being ridiculously out of breath. Yeah, 140 kg, moving super, super nicely there. Really happy with that. As you can see, I got very into it. Mind's, mindset activated, all that. Because I have done a five hour hike this morning. So I'm surprised my legs allowed me to move uh, 140 kg like that. It really went up with not much effort at all. And I know you may be saying depth is a bit of an issue. I really need to work on my hip mobility uh, and being able to get deeper. And it's something that I am working on, but it's a lot better than it used to be. So we're taking small wins at the minute. But yeah, on the new Mirafit bar as well, first time squatting on that felt super, super nice. The lack of centinelling really did actually help uh, because I find that this slick surface actually sticks to my sweaty back a lot nicer than knurling does. So yeah, super, super happy with that. So now it is time to move on to the goblet squat superset. And rather than montaging a few to mix it up, I'm just going to film, record, talk to you as I do the set, uh, and then obviously repeat it for a couple more reps. But yeah, let's get into that. So I have no idea what this camera angle is like, whether you can see all of me, whether you can just see my body. But the main important thing is, is you can see my legs in this. Uh, so as I said, it's a super set, three sets of 12. We've got a 24 kilo dumbbell here from Rebel Strength, a loadable one. Um, and we are gonna pick up obviously in Goblet, and then we're gonna do 12 reps with a cannonball stance and 12 reps with a sumo stance, and it will completely blast your legs, absolutely murder them. So. These are really, really important to get blood into the muscle after you've done some heavy squatting, in my opinion. So, cannibal stance. Uh, two. So yeah, these you really feel uh, around your knees and your quads, on uh, your outer quads, should I say. Um, not so much in the glutes and adductors, but yeah, this one's a really, really big blast. So, yeah, that's six, I think. Seven, eight, nine, 10. So you really want to go low and bounce, almost bounce off your calves there. Uh, now then we want to switch to the sumo stance for 12 and these you might feel more in your inner quads, your adductors, your glutes. And it's really, really hard work. Four, five, six. Yeah, and you want to go low so you feel that stretch right at the bottom. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, and you start to feel that all sort of in this area here and out the back there. And yeah, it's just one of those absolutely monstrous supersets that make you want to absolutely die because it's hard work. And I mean, my legs have absolutely blown up because of it. And um, I feel like it's really helped my squat, especially with my depth. Um, when you really try and get that stretch at the bottom and it opens up the mobility around, strengthening all the stabilizing muscles. You don't usually strengthen on like a leg extension and hamstring curl. So yeah, absolutely insane exercise. I'm gonna finish that off, then we're gonna move on to lunges in the same format. So my legs are absolutely pumped to absolute oblivion. Like, don't know if that picks up on the camera, but they're super full of blood now from that superset. But Lunges, probably most people's least favorite exercise. It's up there for me. I think it is just beaten by the Bulgarian split squat, which really is just a glorified lunge. But yeah, I hate these. They feel horrible, but they work, they really do. So I've got two 16.5 kilo dumbbells here. Um, I've actually changed up the weights from what I said at the start of the video. I got um, less weight on the goblet squat, more weight on the lunges. So let's see if I'm gonna regret that, but yeah, lunges. Six per leg, just static lunges. Not enough space to do walking lunges here, but yeah, get a nice wide stance. Knee, not touching the ground, but as close to as you can. So just six of them. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, switch legs, two, three, four, five, six. Horrible, horrible exercise that, but nothing works like it. Usually I'd also do these in higher volume, but I decided to go heavier 
lower volume this week because I alternate doing um, 10 kg dumbbells for 12 reps per leg and heavier dumbbells for six reps per leg, just so I'm getting a difference of strength and volume in there. It's always good to mix up the weights you're lifting and the rep schemes and stuff like that, really leaving no stone unturned. But yeah, I've got three more sets of those to do. So yeah, they're, they're tough, but I mean, the results, they're absolutely insane. When I do the ground reveal at the end after the bike sprints, I take my knee sleeves off and we have a proper look at my legs. You'll see that absolutely pumped to oblivion and I've got a nice bunch of strength work in there as well. So yeah, let's get all lunging done. Just recovered from the lunges and my legs are absolutely wrecked. Like they're hugely pumped right now. Literally probably doubled in size since earlier. I really should have done a before and after measurement on my quads because they're just rock solid right now. Like it's ridiculous. I, I haven't had a quad pump like it in so long since I started incorporating this workout. And I'm sure the bike sprints are gonna add a whole new element to it because this is the first time I'm implementing them because I'm trying to up my cardio levels uh, because obviously where I've been bulking uh, and getting bigger, my cardio has suffered a bit. So now I'm back home and not in the bedroom gym, I've been able to incorporate morning cardio, which is fasted. Uh, which keeps the fitness up. And now I'm incorporating a bit more conditioning on the end of each of the workouts as well, uh, which has been helping loads while still maintaining uh, my current bulk, which is nice. But yeah, lunge is done, thankfully. I hate them so much. And now we're moving on to box squats. And as I said earlier, these are much lighter than I'm capable of. 80 kg really is nothing for me to move on a squat. It's less than half of my PR. Um, but yeah, with with box squats after this entire workout. It's literally the most I can manage for 10 reps. I really can't get any heavier. I started trying to do uh, 100 in the first week. I incorporated them thinking, yeah, I can do 100. That's no problem and I, I really couldn't. So yeah, box squats, if you don't know, they're just squats where you sit down and then get back up. So uh, touch your ass to like a box. That's why it's called box squats or a bench or something. I'm just gonna use my bench because it seems to be about the perfect height. Um, and I use these uh, boxes here with tires on as my spotters, my safeties. Uh, surprisingly, they work really well. Obviously, where I don't have anyone to spot and I'm just working out alone, it's the next best thing and they do work really well. So, yeah, gonna set the bench up, gonna get squatting, and this is gonna be yet again another montage. tell that that last set was getting tough. I'm absolutely 
sweating buckets right now. And yeah, even 80 kg, which is less than my body weight currently, I'm about 88, 89 at the minute, verging on that 90 kg mark. It's, it's hard, it's so tough. Um, yeah, my quads are absolutely burnt up, exhausted. But that is the end of the heavy lifting for today's workout. Uh, relatively heavy lifting anyway for the end bit, but now we're going to move on to calf raises, which uh, you really guys really don't want to see. It's halfway up that staircase. You really can't film it very well. It's in the dark. It's really not a good, good exercise for filming. So I'm going to leave that out of the video. Everyone knows what a calf race on a step is. And if you don't Google it, I'm not the only source of fitness information out there. And then we're going to end off with the bike sprints, which are going to be a bit nasty. It is now time, after finishing calf raises, to pump my legs harder than they have ever been pumped before. Harder than this entire workout. For a minute straight, three sets, level 15 on this bike, I am going to cycle my absolute ass off. So, in 15 seconds, we will give that a look. So, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, workout done. Hour and 45 minutes. Probably could do it quicker if I wasn't filming. Rest times for the big movements like the squat, five minutes between uh, sets. Uh, for everything else, two and a half minutes and then for the bike sets at the end, minute on, minute off. Absolutely brutal, really, really is. Um, but yeah, very good workout. My legs are absolutely fried. All right, let's get in the good lighting and have a look at them. Oh, as you can see, probably the biggest my legs are ever going to look. So let's get back here, have a look at these absolute bad boys. Look at how massively, massively pumped up they are. Like, if we get right into posing trunks there, sorry if it's a bit TMI for you guys, but just look at the absolute colossal size that these legs have come today. Like, that is... That is just nuts, like, if we do the typical bodybuilding leg pose, get it right there, in the lighting, I got a hamstring cramp, as you can see, my leg's cramped up, oh lord, oh, but, I'll tell you what, that was absolutely worth it. So, whilst I untuck my ridiculous shorts, and squat down for the final time, hopefully today, to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like in the comments down below. And if you want to tell me anything, any videos you want me to do, sorry that my words are muddled, I'm knackered. Um, let me know in the comments section down below. And obviously liking the video pushes it to the algorithm, gets it more views, and is absolutely what I need right now after that. But hopefully you guys can try this workout out Tell me if it's any good for you guys, because for me, it's absolutely perfect to blast my legs. But yeah, remember to use code TobyLife if you want, if you want supplements. Remember to hit subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next video.